Hey, we're here on the rose at Our Lady of... Our Lady of the Rosary. Our Lady of the Rosary, not the most. Not no. yet. We are not most yet. We are just Holy right. Rosary. Hey, we're here on the rose at Our Lady of the Rosary Church with Father Ronnie Villamore. Father? Yes. Welcome. Right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, you for being Thank with you. us. Thank you. Thank you. Father, could you tell us a little bit about where you grew up and how you got to the Diocese of Home Tupelo? Wow, that's a long story. But anyway, <laughs> I was born in the Philippines. Uh, I come from the island of Mindanao, that is like the Louisiana of the Philippines. And uh, after uh, six years home, you know, I went for school in my grandma's house. Then, you know, after I finished my elementary, first year high school, I entered the seminary. And, um, well, straight, high school, college, and uh, theology straight, seminary. And then before I turned 25, I got ordained a priest in 1983. And uh, from then on, uh, I guess I was assigned for eight months, then I was made pastor there in my home diocese in Kidapawan. Then later I was assigned in other parishes. And uh, anyway, to make the long story short, it was all 19, 24 years I've been serving in the Philippines. And then I thought with some invitations, you know, I have one priest, brother priest who was already here at the time, Father Toto. And I asked him, is it good there? And he said, yeah, it's good here, you know, you could come. And then so I applied, I wrote Father Vic. And in 2007, I first landed in the United States. Mm. My first parish was St. Bernadette. I was the associate pastor there. Wow, I enjoyed my stay there with Father Pat and the late Monsignor Lucian, you know. He, I guess he was the one who trained me how to manipulate the AC, how to clean the church when the, you know, the leaves are a lot, you know, in St. Bernadette. Then, of course, we enjoyed a lot, you know, exercising together, then going, you know, eating. You know, he said, it's rainy day. But uh, you see, nine months I stayed there. I was like enjoying being the tail of the tiger, you know. But Bishop Sam, after nine months, he called me, said, I will make you pastor in Golden Meadow. He said, well, Bishop, thank you for your trust and confidence, but to be honest about it, I don't really know where Golden Meadow was, you know. <laughs> but anyway, I accepted. Then after I have accepted his, uh, you know, his offer, I googled it and I said, wow, there's no, a lot strip of land here, you know, going to Golden Meadow. I've never been to Golden Meadow. Anyway, he assigned me there for six years. And because of that, uh, I got some problem because my visa is just for three years. So I have to communicate to my bishop in the Philippines at the time. And uh, I asked him, you think, bishop, I'll just stay here for three years? I was given an assignment for six years. And he said, uh, you could finish your six years. So, so I said, Bishop, I have to extend and said, yeah, you could do that. So anyway, I was allowed. And then my immigration lawyer advised me, don't extend, you better apply for permanent residency. So I asked Bishop Sam if he will, you know, petition me to be a permanent resident. And he was willing to do so. So I did that, and to make the long story short, before I turned three years here, I have my permanent resident wow. card. Wow, So that was, I was in Golden Meadow at the time. So I said, uh, maybe this is what the Lord wants me to do, to be here, because now I'm, I will not be staying here as an, you know, illegal alien, but, uh, you know, serving the people of God here in this diocese. And before I finished my term there for six years, on my fourth year, Bishop Sam said, I'll transfer you to a parish with a Catholic school. And that is Our Lady of the Rosary. Mm. So 2012, I'd been here. Mm -hmm. And the time I, since I've been like five years here, I decided I asked my bishop if 
he will excardinate me because Bishop Sam was willing to incardinate me here. So I applied for excardination, then I applied for incardination here. So in September 1st, 2012, we were at the evacuation center, you know, that was Hurricane Gustav. When I came back, I'm already incardinated in the Diocese of Huma Thibodeau. So wow. 2012. Wow. So I've been here, you know, working, and uh, just last year, I finally decided to apply for citizenship. And last July, last year, I had my pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Congratulations! <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so that's my short story. Hey, we're here in La Rose at Our Lady of the Holy Rosary in La Rose. I already said that. Yes. 